Hey y'all, it's Grizz here at Windmill Farm in North Mississippi. Y'all come along with me today as I speak about EDC, our everyday carry, and take some of the mystery out of it, all right? So y'all come along. Hey y'all, this, on this uh, episode today, what we're gonna talk about is EDC, or everyday carry. That is a acronym that they're using today it's thrown out there a lot by preppers and by police departments and everything else and by hearing it sometimes people think that it's all about this tactical training and stuff it's got nothing to do with that it's got to do with muscle memory and what I mean by that is is by putting stuff on every single day the exact same way so that when you need to get to it in a very quick and reliable method it is exactly where your body knows it is through the muscle memory and through training that you've done with it, okay? As y'all can see in this clip coming up, you'll see me getting dressed and how I put on everything every day. All right, as y'all saw, I put on stuff the same way. This goes on, everything goes on the exact same way. And the reason I do that is y'all talked about, some of y'all personally PM me about me pulling out my knife when I'm doing my videos, cutting something. I put my knife back up and without even looking or knowing where I'm reaching for. And the reason is, is that knife is always in the exact same spot. If you talk about the human body, this being 12, this is three, this is nine, and six is straight behind you, okay? When you hear guys talk about carrying firearms, you'll hear them say, well, I like to carry mine at four. Some people say appendix up here in front. That's where the whole using the clock around the body, that's the reason I'm going to use it here. My knife and my gun is at three. My keys are at two o'clock. My utility tool is over here at nine o'clock, okay? Now, the reason I carry these things in these positions is because I'm a fat boy. I have a belly, okay? If I'm in any kind of a situation and I'm in a compromise bending over, I'm kneeling down, anything that puts a position where my belly is going to be in the way, I can't do appendix carry where you got right here in front. Not only that, I'm a little scared of it. I know it's very safe and sound. A lot of folks use it. I personally don't feel comfortable with it. I was trained a long time ago in a different mindset than what a lot of guys are training now. I feel comfortable here. Okay. My firearm is at three o'clock. If you notice though, it's not sitting straight up and down. It is canted forward. This is called a 15 degree forward cant FBI cant, okay? The reason for that is, is for a quick, smooth, effortless draw, straight out and up. If you, it's all about how you train. And that's what EDC is, is training, training your memory. My keys, always in the same spot. You wanna know where these things are because say you're walking to your car you're feeling something just not feel right. 
always look them to your sixth sense. If something doesn't feel right, get out of that situation. You don't want to be looking through your purse if you're a woman. Always have your keys in the exact same spot in your purse, okay? Men, you want your keys in the exact, I don't care what pockets, you're left-handed, right-handed, or whatever. If you always put it in your back pocket, that's fine. Just put it in the exact same spot. That way, when you really need to get to them, because something don't feel good, or you see someone following you or whatever, without thinking about it, you can reach down. I have the key to my truck. I didn't even look down. I knew exactly where it was at, okay? So that's the reason why you always want to carry everything. That's your EDC, your everyday carry. You don't have to carry a firearm. You don't have to carry a knife. It's just where you carry your keys, your wallet, whatever. These things are important because the more times you carry them in the exact same spot, the more times your brain picks up that muscle memory of going to that exact same spot. So when you get into a situation, as y'all seen on my video of me needing to get my knife to cut something without thinking about it, I'm right there every single time. Same thing with getting my utilitarian tool. When I get it, I can get it, put it back together. Without thinking about it, I know exactly where it goes. I can keep on with my, what I'm doing here. That's the same thing in a real world situation where you need to get in your car. Or if you do need to pull a knife, let's say you do have a knife and there's a situation where you need to pull it. Even on the homestead, we have rabid coyotes. We have rabid raccoons and foxes. You might need to reach down and pull the knife out that you keep in your front pocket or clipped because a lot of folks are using the clip on knives. My wife uses cat, uses a clip on knife a lot. You want to know exactly where it is. If there's a situation, you need to do it. If there's a situation where you're tangled up in something. My uncle got hung up in a um, square baler one time, okay? To know exactly where something is and you can reach it. See what I'm saying? I can still reach it with this other hand. Okay, so just that's what EDC boils down to. It's not about tactical training. It's about training your body about your everyday carry that you carry. I always carry everything in the exact same spot. My wallet's always here. My bandana is always back here. My phone is always here. And I always I always face my with my screen forward so I don't sweat against it. My keys are always in the exact same spot. All right. So y'all, that's what EDC means. All right. So. Hope that took a little bit of the mystery out of it, especially when you read these articles or you hear somebody say it. It's just that simple, all right? Muscle memory. Muscle memory becomes training. Training will save your life when it needs to or help you out when you're in a situation in one of them shit situations and you need to get out of it quickly, okay? So, as always, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you haven't already done so, subscribe, please. Also, Please comment. We answer every comment. I love reading the comments, as y'all have heard me say multiple times at the end of my videos, okay? I do. I really do. It's my way of interacting with y'all. Y'all can converse with me. Hit me up on PM, on Facebook, whatever. I'll discuss about whatever we can. And if there's something don't even sound right to you, just let me know. And, hey, I'm not an expert in any of this. This is just how I learned and trained stuff years ago, how I've done gardening, how I do blacksmithing, how I do leather work, anything else. I'm always up for learning more, okay? So if y'all need to teach me something, by all means, please do so. Look, we've had a blessed day. I hope y'all have a blessed day. And as always, be safe.